I don't have the room for a prototypical layout. Horse feathers. Introducing the HO Scale Bayside Canadian Railway. Built by Rapido Jeff, one of our newest project managers, this module is an uncompressed recreation of the actual railway in Bayside, New Brunswick. The Bayside Canadian Railway is a 220 foot long railway built by the American Seafoods Company in 2012 for the sole purpose of exploiting a loophole in US shipping laws and sticking it to the man. Want to find out more about what this loophole actually is and how they're exploiting it? You really need to check out this highly entertaining and informative video by the fine folks over at Half as Interesting for a full history and explanation of this railway and how the government has finally caught on and are going to shut them down. But watch it after you watch this video because you're here now. So after. I'll put a link in the description as well. The operation is quite simple. The ship arrives at the Bayside dock, the fish is loaded onto trucks, and the truck is backed onto a pair of XCN piggyback flat cars. The little track mobile then pulls the cars to the end of the track and back again, and then the truck drives over the border into Maine and freedom. That's it. Oh look who's here! It's Johnny Law! The jig is up, American Seafoods Company. So yeah, this proves that anybody's got the space to have a full prototypical layout that can be operated anywhere. Anyway, the whole point of all this is these Rapido CN and CP piggyback flat cars and trailers. There's a big order deadline coming up soon, so I'm going to end my nonsense now and throw it over to Jordan for all the details. Hi, this is Jordan from Rapido Trains Inc. And as you can see, I'm sitting right in front of the Bayside Canadian Railway, or a model of it anyways. Now, I've got a few products to, uh, to talk to you about today that have order deadlines coming up on January 16th. First off, we have the Canadian trailers. Uh, you can see I've got the 45-foot uh, trailmobile uh, trailer right in front of me here. We also have the 26-footer, uh, which I don't have the sample right in front of me here. Hey Jason, where are the 26-foot trailer samples? Jordan's doing a video here. Um, I think we lost them. I think we took them to a show. They might be in Bill's garage. Uh, just use a render for now. I'm busy with this email. We've got those. We also have the Canadian TOFC or uh, uh, piggyback flat cars. We have the CN and the CP versions we're going to have a look at, plus the, uh, the BART trains uh, that uh, we have a, an early bird deadline for those coming up on the 16th as well. So why don't we get right into it? With the explosion of intermodal service in the 1950s and 60s and 70s, both CN and CP found a major need for intermodal flat cars. Representing both the 1966 order for CN and 1972 orders for CP, these models will represent their as-delivered formats in this release. With their success, we'll also look at doing the later rebuilt versions in future runs. Some of the details of our Canadian piggyback flat cars include heavy die-cast center sill, photo-etched deck surfaces, two styles of hitches either upright or collapsed based on which type of trailers you're using on your flat cars, wire grab irons, durable trucks with metal wheels, and Rapido's new semi-scale knuckle couplers. As I mentioned before, these cars are available in both the as-delivered CN and CP schemes, and we're also making them undecorated as well, so if you want to model the Bayside Canadian Railway, you can paint them up yourself. Now that we've looked at the flat cars, of course you're going to need something to put on them, and we have both the 45-foot trailmobiles and 26-foot dry van trailers, which were a very common sight on Canadian railways right from the 1960s into the 1990s. Both the 26 and 45-foot trailers were used extensively by both CN and CP across the country for package delivery services and whatnot, and a number of private operators as well. Some of the details we've included with both the 26 and 45-foot trailers include two versions of the landing gear, either in motion or parked positions, separately applied mud flaps, highly detailed wheels and axle areas, plus the 26-foot trailers have two styles of front stabilizer bars, plus many other details. 
Looking at the paint schemes available in this release, for the 26 footers we have CP Rail and CP Express and Transport in the respective red and blue paint schemes, Smith Transport, Canada Cartage, CN Express or CNP back service paint schemes, Rhymer Express lines, and Simpsons. For the 45 foot trailmobiles, we have again CP Transport, Smith Transport, Canada Cartage, CN Supertherm, Taggart. CP Rail with the uh, side door, as well as CN Piggyback, Caravan, and Wilson's Truck Lines. So that's a quick look at all of the Canadian intramodal equipment we have order deadlines for uh, this January the 16th. So make sure you see your dealer or visit our website to put your orders in. In addition to uh, these products, we also have the conditional BART order deadline on the 16th. This is the early bird deadline and also includes the 5% early bird discount pricing. After the 16th, we will keep the orders open until we have tooling samples, but the 5% will end on the 16th, so please, please make sure you visit our website or visit BART's own rail goods store to put your orders in today. You can also order through your dealer. As you can see, I'm starting to lose my voice a bit here, so with that said, thanks once again for joining me. I will see you again in the next video. Bye now.